March 11th and it's the day before we leave for our trip down to the Gulf Shore. Uh, today we're driving out to uh, Dixie Sailing Club and we're going to get Isla and uh, take her out of Lake Martin, put her on the trailer and we're going to drive her back home, uh, just basically park her in front of our house overnight in Auburn uh, and then tomorrow morning we're going to, uh, to leave to head to the Gulf Shore. So, uh, today we're basically going to take the, uh, the boat out of the water, put her on the trailer, drop the mast, and, uh, and get everything uh, ready to, uh, to go for, uh, for a short drive today and then a longer drive tomorrow. Uh, we haven't done this in about a year and a half, and we've never done it by, ourself, uh, by ourselves since we've owned the boat. Uh, we took the boat out of the water uh, once when we had a sea trial, and then um, when we purchased the boat we just put her bed in Lake Martin and haven't removed her since. So, uh, so this will be a little bit of a... A fresh refresher course for us. We uh, uh, watched some videos and we uh, think we, you know, got everything uh, planned for, for taking her out of the water. Uh, but we'll see. We haven't practiced this in a while. How are you feeling about it, Connor? I'm feeling good. I'm looking forward to taking the trailer straps out of plastic since we just bought them. <laughs> I'm looking forward to relearning how to do all this stuff. Um, I think it's going to be uh, fun and exciting. But mostly, I'm looking forward to getting the boat in the Gulf waters and uh, going for our trip. Yeah. It's not warm. It's uh, it's high of uh, 60 today. It's going to be in the low 40s uh, while we're down there <laughs> at, the, at the coast, so I don't think it'll be a... Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's not going to be a you know swimming and, and sunbathing adventure. It's going to be a little bit of a, of a camping trip, but uh, we're looking forward to it anyway. sandwiches having some almond butter cashew butter sandwiches before the big haul mm -hmm. making a little room hopefully pretty, it's soon pretty crowded down the, the dock right now <clears throat> so let's see how this goes all right so we've managed to get the boat out of the water and onto the trailer it's a little bit uh, difficult and Maybe a little bit stressful would be the right word, but some help from our fellow club members. And we uh, got it done. Unfortunately, we didn't take any video of it. But here it is on the trailer. 
There's the truck. We took the engine off, took the rudder off, took the boom off. So we're just about ready to start lowering the mast. Liz is attaching the forward mast cradle so that we have a little cradle to hold the uh, mast in place while we drive. And here is the aft mast cradle. We can raise and lower that to help uh, get the mast down from way up there to down here. And we've put the engine and the rudder into the bed of the truck. So we've done a few tasks. It's been uh, successful, although not necessarily smooth, I'd say. How are you doing, Lizzie? I'm all right. You're all right? I'm a little cold. A little cold, yeah. yeah. It's going to be a cold trip, I think, but we'll get there. We'll have fun. All righty. So I'm sitting in the cabin right now. We're in the parking lot. Uh, Connor just walked down to get the kayak that we left at the dock, and unfortunately it's raining pretty well now and it's freezing cold so it's kind of miserable um we ha still have to get our mast down that's the last thing we uh we have to do and unfortunately we should have worked a little faster but uh i didn't realize the rain was going to come in so soon so uh we're going to get a little wet a little cold um but that's pretty much the last thing we have to do to get the mast down and then secure it and we should be on our way unfortunately connor's walking back down to the dock to, to bring the kayak back up and he's going to be a little wet. So I'm hanging out here in the cabin for now, trying to stay dry and uh, we'll be back out there soon enough though. Pull it back towards you just, just a centimeter. All right, well that was a pretty miserable experience. Yeah. We got the uh, boom off and the mast down and lashed up here with bungee cords and sheets and halyards and dock lines it's been raining it is cold our fingers and toes are numb but it seems to be pretty secure we're gonna drive it down the road here in a few minutes and uh, see how that goes all right we're driving we're driving in a nice warm car <laughs> yeah <laughs> I said it before, but that was pretty miserable. Don't want to do it again. Glad to be in the warm car today. We were considering uh, leaving a day later if it was going to be rainy and cold down in Pensacola, but it looks like it's going to be okay. Uh, taking the mask down in the rain was, was not easy and, and kind of dangerous. So, um, plus, we were on a little bit of a slant in the bow yard, so it kind of made it awkward. Uh, but we think it'll be okay. The weather's supposed to be all right in the afternoon tomorrow. Pensacola, so if we leave in the morning as planned, we should get down there and it'll be okay by the time we get there and uh, safe enough to, to work on the boat and put the mast up and put it in the water and stuff. So uh, we're going to do that. Uh, all of a sudden our left side uh, brake light and uh, blinker aren't working though on the trailer, so we'll have to figure out tonight or early tomorrow morning uh, what's going on there and try to get you know road it may be putting the trailer in the water to get the boat, which you have to do, but that may have gotten water in the wires or in the bulb and uh, caused that to fail, unfortunately. Yeah, the wires aren't super uh, well taped on. Once we looked at them, you know, having just brought it back from a, from a trailer shop, it's a little disappointing, but we'll, uh, we'll check the connections and, and see what we can do. securing it for the night. We're going to try to rig up a hose to get down there real quick and clean off the bottom. And then uh, do a couple more things. Change out the crib boards to the refinished ones. And then we got to go provision. All right. 
Okay, we made it home. In one piece. Everything seems to be secured. There's no rubbing marks on the deck. And uh, we uh, had a had an okay drive. So that is good news. Got her parked out in front of our house. Hopefully the neighbors won't mind having a little sailboat here for a few hours. 20, less than 24. And it's getting dark, so I'm gonna turn off the video and go warm up inside. So we got the boat home. And in the last few minutes of light, we decided we would clean her off a little, all the muck on the bottom. And now that it's still dark, dark now and we're still cleaning is what I meant to say. Here we are. All right, so it's almost nine o'clock at night, Saturday night. <laughs> we're tired. <laughs> we're kind of done. Uh, so we just came from two grocery stores, did our provisioning. I hope we did a good enough job of uh, buying enough things for meals. I mean, we're not going out into the wild, so we'll be eating most of our dinners at marinas, we hope. And, you know, so we just wanted to make sure we had lunches and snacks and stuff. Um, and we're sitting outside in O'Reilly on parts because we realized that the uh, taillight on our trailer is not working. And we tested it out when we got home after washing off the boat. And we realized that the bulb was was burned out, so we came to O'Reilly's and we bought a replacement bulb, a two pack, just in case. And uh, we're heading home. We'll replace the bulb. We'll pack the food. We'll pack our clothes and our sleeping bags and try to get some sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah.